All right, so here we got the side-lying hip rotation with the roller. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay on my side and with the side I'm laying on in the case of, uh, this case being my right side, I'm gonna be as long as I can from my, from my toes to my fingertips. And I'm just gonna rest my head on my side. Now the opposite leg, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the inside of your knee up on the roller. Most of you will be okay putting your knee just below your hip pocket level. Some of you might need to go a little bit lower, but let's just assume unless I specify otherwise, you're just gonna go just below, knee just below the hip pocket, okay? The inside of your ankle bone is gonna be up on the roller. So we got this nice, almost 90 degree angle going here. Um, oftentimes people get set up, they bend their knee too much like this, and that's not gonna, that's gonna take away the effectiveness of the exercise, which is geared towards helping you restore your hip mobility so that you can move better and feel better. Um, especially those of you that maybe you're suffering from like low back pain um, or knee pain, this is gonna be like a game changer for you. So what you're gonna do, we're back to our, our position that we were in. Now, I may add, if I put arm over head, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just bend your arm a little bit and go with the elbow in and then your arm just overhead like this, okay? Otherwise, just have it at your side. You'll inhale through your nose and when you inhale through your nose, you're gonna feel like a mild stretch. I use the word stretch for my terminology. Most people, when I say stretch, they expect this like life-changing, oh my God, I feel that stretching like beyond belief type of sensation. It's not gonna be that kind of a stretch. It's just gonna be mild, uh, think of like mild tension or pressure. Just a very mild stretch in the low back and the glute area. When I inhale through the nose, then I'm gonna exhale through my mouth. As I exhale through my mouth, I'm gonna push down on the roller with the inside of my knee and I'm gonna let my hip pocket rotate towards the camera. And then I go back to start and then I repeat. Inhale through the nose. Feel a little bit of that stretch. Exhale. And as I exhale, push down and rotate the hip pocket forward, I feel the inside of the thigh and my glute. Now, the big mistake people make when they do the rotation is they allow the low back to rotate with the hip. And what that's gonna look like is this. So you see how I start rotating as one unit rather than just focusing on isolating the hip and making the hip the focal point of the movement. So I know it's a really small range of motion. Don't let that um, misguide you on how effective this can be at, at uh, you know, increasing your rotation in the hip and helping with your hip mobility and ultimately things like low back pain, um, you know, knee pain. And if you don't have any aches or pains, you'll just move better. And, and you'll feel better as a result of that. The thing that you can do to test out, there's two tests that you can do to see the effectiveness of this, and I would do these before um, you implement the drill. One, test what's called your hip external rotation. So for that, you're just gonna drive the knee up to about 90 degrees, and then you'll rotate the foot in and the knee out. You wanna remain on this plane, go slowly as you test it, um, what people will do is they'll let the knee fall out and then they'll test it. They ch cheat the movement, they get more rotation than they actually have at the hip joint. Um, so make sure you keep that plane when you drive straight up. You're not allowing the hip knee to fall out as you do so. Um, the other test you can do is your straight leg raise test. So laying with your back, press down into the floor lightly, keep the opposite leg down on the ground. You're gonna lift your leg up as high as you can that's about as much range of motion as I've got before I would start to compensate. So if I let my back start popping off the ground, you can see the back of my thigh lifting off the ground, I can cheat the movement, get more range of motion. It doesn't really give me an effective measure or true measure. Um, but test that beforehand, those two things, test them after, see if you got improvements in your range of motion. I'll be very surprised if you didn't.